This class is for the ninth grade. It's unit 11, period five, a garden for all. Yes, work in pairs, say what the pictures on the next page show, then read the website comments, find out whose ideas the pictures show. Let's look at the first picture. We can see a woman, she looks sad, and she's looking at mess. So picture one shows a woman looking sadly at a lot of rubbish or mess. This is Susie's idea, Susie Smith. Picture B, we can see a group of people. They are in, a, in, community, in the community hall and they are discussing a project about the garden project. People in a meeting in a community hall talking about the new garden. This is Jack Hill's ideas. Picture C, we can see two volunteers, two people here. We have a um, gardener and a carpenter. Yes, helping in the garden. One man is a gardener and the other is a carpenter. This is Bob Green. This is picture C. Now, let's listen to the lesson. Unit 11. Period 5. Activity 3. North London News. 10 o'clock, Sunday the 9th of March. Work starts on the garden project on Western Road. Thank you to everyone who came to the meeting last night. All of us on the committee were very surprised by the large numbers. And we had an excellent discussion, didn't we? We now have a great team of volunteers with lots of energy. So let's get on and do the work. See you all on Sunday. Jack Hill, Committee Secretary. I'm looking forward to Sunday too, but I must say one thing about the mess on our site. People shouldn't make a mess like that, should they? It's terrible. The ones who did it should be ashamed of themselves. It would be nice if they came to help clean up the place, wouldn't it? Susie Smith If I remember correctly, we've never done a voluntary project like this in Newtown before, but I hope it'll be the first of many. We didn't talk about this last night, did we? But perhaps we can next time. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone again on Sunday. Zainab Hussein. There's just one problem. We don't have people with the right skills to lead the work, do we? For example, we need a gardener, don't we? And a carpenter to help repair the fence, too. We should make a request on local radio. Bob Green. That's a fantastic idea, Bob. I'll make a phone call today and request their help. Jack Hill, Committee Secretary. Okay, let's begin with the lesson. So, the first comment on the website. Thank you to every everyone who came to the meeting last night. All of us on the committee were very surprised. Yes, here we can see that the committee, these are the people who were organizing the project. Okay, uh, this is committee secretary is speaking. The committee secretary, Jack Hill, is, still, is speaking and he says that he is thanking everyone who came to the meeting that uh, happened last night. And uh, these are the people who were organizing the project. And he says that they were, they were very surprised. Why surprised? Because uh, a lot of people came. You see, uh, large numbers, this means a lot of people came and attended this project uh, or this uh, meeting and we had an excellent discussion also he's saying that they they had or we now have a, a great team of volunteers they had a great team of volunteers and these volunteers are full of energy yes um and they do a lot of work so he says let's do let's get on let's start and do work work here it means in the garden and he's looking forward to seeing the people 
in the uh, on Sunday, next Sunday. This is the time, Sunday, 9th, 10 o'clock, March. And the place is Garden Project on Western Road. This is the first comment. Let's move to the second one. Here, Susie Smith says, I'm looking that she's looking forward to Sunday. Also, she wants to see, to see people on Sunday. And she says, but I must say one thing about the mess on our side. Here, she feels sad and surprised because people are throwing rubbish. Okay, people shouldn't make a mess like that. Yes, it's terrible. The ones who did it should be ashamed of, the, of themselves. The ones, this means the people who threw rubbish should be ashamed of themselves. And ashamed, khajul, it's the opposite of proud of, fakhur, of themselves. And the, the pronoun themselves here, Okay, uh, themselves, it refers to the ones, okay? Yes, uh, the people who, who, did, who threw rubbish. It would be nice if they came to help clean the place, wouldn't it? Yes, this means that she doesn't expect people to come and clean the rubbish, but she says they should do that. It would be nice if they came. If they, this means the people who made the mess. They, the people who made the mess. This is the mess that they made, okay? And she says that they should be ashamed of themselves. And here, uh, she thinks that they should clean. It would be nice if they came and clean up the place. Now let's move to comment three on the website. We can see uh, here, Zainab Hussein is sp speaking or talking. She says, if I remember co correctly, We've never done a voluntary project like this in Newtown before. Yes, this means that she, this lady, was working um, with the with local community. Yes, before, and she hopes it will be the first of many. It it refers to uh, to the project. It refers to the project. She hopes that this project. تتأمل إنه هذا المشروع يكون أحد المشاريع القادمة. We didn't talk about uh, this last night. We didn't talk about this last night. This means that she wants to people to talk about future project. We didn't talk. Talk here. This means that they want to talk about similar projects. We can. We can talk about similar project next time. Next time it means in the next meeting. بتأملوا في الاجتماع القادم يحكوا عن مشاريع بهذا بهذا الشكل أو على هذا الشكل. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone again on Sunday. So the first three speakers, um, uh, Jack Hill, Susie Smith, and Zainab Hussein, the three of them uh, are looking forward to seeing people, seeing uh, people uh, on the, the next Sunday. Yes. Okay, this is the voluntary project that they were uh, working on and that they are going to work on. And these are the people who were discussing um, the project uh, in the meeting. Yes, now let's move to the next one. It's uh, comment four. Pop Greed says, there's just one problem. We don't have people with the right skills. To lead the work, right skills, maharat. Yani yaftaqidu li maharat to to be leaders in the work. Yani kunu qa yani yqudu al amal. Yani naftaqid li li nas mahirin mahara yqudu al amal. For example, what do they need here? This is a project, mashroo. What do they need? They need a gardener. Okay. They also need a carpenter. Okay. Why do they need a carpenter? In order to help repair or make or mend or fix the fence. This is the fence. They need to repair it. Okay. Yes. So we should make a request on like local radio. They need to ask for help in order to bring bring in um, a carpenter and also a gardener. Here. Uh, Jack Hill, the committee secretary, says, that's a fantastic idea, Bob. 
I'll make a phone call. So he said, I will call the radio, okay, and will uh, ask for help. Yes, their help. There, this refers to, this pronoun refers to people on the local radio. Now, here, read again and mark the statements true or false. Let's uh, see, after we read the lesson, we are going to answer the questions. Let's see. The first comment is from Jack Hill to the other people on the committee. The first one is false. Yes, Susie Smith expects that people who left the rubbish will clean it up. No, she didn't expect. Not what. Yes, Zainab Hussein has been part of the local uh, community for a long time. That's true. Because she says, I remember. Yes. Bob Green wants the local radio's carpenter and gardener to help. No, uh, not Pop Green, actually. Uh, he asks uh, the secretary and he says, I will call and ask for help. Yes, all of the comment writers show that they expect to be the site, to be at the site on Sunday. No, because uh, the fourth one, Bob Green, he didn't mention anything about, uh, about this. Thank you so much. Good luck.